one of the best experiences of my life. It's like a whole bunch of families coming together within the Survivor family. And it was like the most beautiful moment. It's going to be hard to surpass that for me. Like, like the, the birth of my kids are number one for me. My wedding was unbelievable. That's number two. What did I tell you? These Survivor loved ones visits, they're creeping up on that, man. That was, that was awesome. Who do you trust the most? Um, probably Tyson. Yeah. Like me and Val were always Survivors, you know. But now my kids are going to be on. They're never going to ever not be able to see this. This is so cool. This is such a great experience. They, they don't even know how great it is yet. Look, here's a hermit crab. You want to see one? You want me to catch it? Look. Oh, oh! I know. I'm not good with kids. I'm single, all right? It's impossible to not notice the people who are here as singles versus the people who are here with families. Every single person came out with a significant other and most of them came out with plus children. I came out with my sister. I'm not tied down to anybody and I don't have little ones at home. And people connect on that level here. So it feels a little bit on the outs when you see those kids all connecting and playing and you see the parents connecting over that. There's no like easy to targets. Everybody's playing really hard. Even the underdogs have good stories this game. Like, I mean, Sophie is killing it at puzzles. Denise played an idol and got Sandra out of the game. Tony's energy is like through the roof. He's hysterical. Is he still playing that same? No, he's played a completely different game. I have not looked for an idol. I haven't been running around the jungle acting crazy. No? Nope. And I did exactly what you told me. I'm in house arrest right You're now. You're really keen. Yep. I'm 180, man. And that's why I'm still here. Baby Cakes told me before I left, she said, Tony, please try not to be crazy. Please don't run around looking for idols. Please try to be yourself. Let people get to know you for who you are. Because I'm not threatening when you see who I am as a person. That's why I'm still here, because Baby Cakes advice. Oh, you're gonna make some sand soup for us? I'm making it for both of you. Oh, yum. Are you ready for some sand soup? What is this? What was getting me in trouble was trying to make plans with people, because those plans would always get out all the time. So I just stopped talking. Oh, really? Yeah. I have been dreaming of having someone come visit me on Survivor for 11 years. I've never got to experience it. And to have it now be with my wife and my daughter is one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. Oh, is that the soup? Is she putting the soup in my hair, Jeremy? Yeah. Oh! Oh, there's sand soup all over in my hair. Oh, no. Hermit crab. Michael! We found a hermit crab! Yeah. He's trying to pinch me right now. I was so excited to see Survivor do the family visit the way they did. The big part of me coming out here was wanting to share this with my kids. I did this before they were a thought. I did this before I was even married to Brian. And so to get to share this with them, to be here with them, to know that this is something we'll always remember as a family. I mean, it's just freaking beautiful. Michael, great day. Best day ever. Yeah.